Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Alexis Bellino angry and tearing up in RHOC preview as castmates urge her to go easy on Shannon Bedar. We're heading into the 10th episode of The Real Housewives of Orange County, and the drama between Alexis Bellino, Shannon Bedar, and John Jansen is heating up. Get ready for more of the same as Alexis continues her takedown of the 60-year-old in defense of her new man. It took some time, but finally, the cast, much like the audience, is at their wit's end and wants a resolution to the one-sided feud. However, in a teaser for episode 10, Catwalks and Catfights, things take an angry and tearful turn as they try to talk sense into Alexis. As for what else to expect in the upcoming episode, Shannon's lawsuit takes a turn as she deals with the aftermath of the damaging videos. Katie Janella wants Heather DeBrow to finally hear the truth about Paparazzi Gate, which causes an upheaval in her friendship with Gina Kirschenheider. Plus, a new rumor comes to light about Gina's career. The cast is on their group getaway in wine country to support Heather's fundraising venture, but Alexis refuses to leave the drama behind. In the teaser, Emily attempts a conversation with the returning RHOC star to put a stop to the Shannon takedown. It just seems like it's getting dirty, and it's getting salacious, and it's getting mean, she reasons. There's nothing mean on our side, or the videos would be out already, retorts Alexis as Emily reasons that while they haven't released the damaging tapes, they've already told people about them. Just have a little compassion towards her, that's it, says Emily. Alexis isn't happy with her and Emily's conversation, and she expresses that during her confessional. Do I feel bad for a woman that's distraught? Yes, she says to the camera. But also, why would you bring it up in the middle of a freaking charity event weekend? Why? Stupid. As the scene flashes back to their conversation, Alexis is in tears as she pleads her case. I'm really sick of everybody taking pity on her, says a frustrated Alexis. She ran into a asterisk asterisk king house and is still drinking and has been horrible to him. And I'm still trying, so I don't know what else I can do for you guys. I just wanted to see if there was something, Emily retorts. During Emily's confessional, she admits, I really went in with the hopes that Alexis could just soften a little. I think she's just on the John Jansen defense train, and she can't get off of it. In the latest preview of The Real Housewives of Orange County, tensions flare as Alexis Bellino finds herself at the center of a heated confrontation. The usually composed and poised Alexis is caught off guard, her emotions unraveling in a rare moment of vulnerability and frustration. As the camera zooms in on her tear-streaked face, it's clear that something deep is stirring within her, and it's all aimed at Shannon Beter. The scene begins innocuously enough. The women are gathered at a lavish dinner party at an upscale restaurant, the clinking of champagne glasses and polite conversation filling the air. But beneath the surface... The group's dynamics have shifted in recent weeks, with Shannon becoming a lightning rod for conflict. As the camera pans across the table, Alexis sits quietly, her fingers tapping against her wine glass, watching Shannon animatedly tell a story. There's an underlying tension, the kind of awkwardness that precedes a storm. Alexis's calm exterior starts to crack when Shannon makes a subtle dig. One of those sly, off-handed comments disguised as humor, but laced with venom. Shannon laughs, but Alexis's smile falters. Her eyes narrow, and a flash of anger crosses her face. Are you serious right now, Shannon? Alexis's voice cuts through the chatter, sharp and tinged with disbelief. Shannon, taken aback, pauses mid-sentence. What? It was just a joke, Alexis. Don't take it so seriously. But Alexis isn't having it. She pushes her chair back, standing up, her body tense and rigid. 
Her emotions, which she's worked hard to keep in check all evening, finally boil over. Just a joke, really. You've been making little jabs at me for weeks now. I'm not stupid, Shannon. I see what you're doing, and I've had enough. The other housewives glance at each other nervously. This is the kind of drama they're used to, but there's something different about Alexis tonight. She's not her usual composed self. Her voice is shaking, her eyes glistening with unched tears, and it's clear this confrontation is about more than just a snide remark at dinner. Tamra Judge, always quick to intervene when things get heated, stands up and walks over to Alexis. Hey, Alexis, take a breath, okay? We don't need to do this right now. But Alexis shakes her head, her tears spilling over. No, Tamra, I'm done staying quiet. I've tried to be nice. I've tried to give Shannon the benefit of the doubt, but she's crossed the line too many times. I'm not going to sit here and let her tear me down like this. Shannon, clearly uncomfortable, tries to defend herself. Alexis, I didn't mean to upset you. I thought we were past all this. Alexis laughs bitterly, wiping her tears with the back of her hand. Past what, Shannon? You think because you say sorry, it just erases all the hurtful things you've said and done. It doesn't work like that. I've been dealing with your passive-aggressive comments for too long, and I'm sick of pretending everything's okay when it's not. Heather Debrow, ever the voice of reason, speaks up from across the table. Alexis, I understand you're upset, but maybe now isn't the best time to hash this out. We're all here to have a good time. But Alexis is too far gone to back down now. Her emotions are at a tipping point, and years of pent-up frustration and hurt are spilling out. This is exactly the time, Heather. I'm tired of everyone walking on eggshells around Shannon, like she's some fragile victim. She's not. She's manipulative, and she knows exactly what she's doing. The other housewives shift uncomfortably in their seats. This is the kind of explosive confrontation that makes for great TV, but it's also deeply personal. Alexis's tears and trembling hands make it clear that this isn't just about a petty feud. It's about years of unresolved tension. Emily Simpson, who's been relatively quiet throughout the evening, tries to calm things down. Alexis, maybe we should all just take a step back. I get where you're coming from, but going after Shannon like this isn't going to solve anything. But Alexis isn't ready to let it go. She turns to Shannon, her voice lower now, but no less intense. You've made me feel like an outsider for so long, Shannon. You talk about being real and vulnerable, but every time I try to open up, you throw it back in my face. I've tried to be your friend to support you, but you've treated me like I don't matter. Shannon's face softens, her brevetto faltering for a moment. Alexis, I didn't know you felt that way. Of course you didn't, Alexis snaps because you're too busy playing the victim to see how your actions affect other people. The table falls silent, the weight of Alexis's words hanging in the air. For a moment, it seems like no one knows what to say. Even Shannon, who's usually quick with a comeback, looks lost for words. Finally, Tamara steps in again, her tone gentle but firm. Alexis, I get that you're upset but maybe it's time to take a step back and cool off. This isn't the time or place for this kind of conversation. But Alexis shakes her head, her tears flowing freely now. No, Tamara, I'm not going to just sit back and let Shannon walk all over me anymore. I've had enough of her fake apologies and her poor me routine. I'm done. With that, Alexis grabs her purse and storms out of the restaurant leaving the other housewives in stunned silence. Shannon, looking shell-shocked, watches her go, a mixture of guilt and confusion on her face. As the camera follows Alexis outside, she takes a deep breath, her hands shaking as she wipes away her tears. 
it's clear that this confrontation has been building for a long time. And now that it's finally happened, there's no going back. The question remains, will this be the breaking point for Alexis and Shannon's fragile friendship? Or is there still hope for reconciliation? Only time will tell as the Real Housewives of Orange County continues to deliver its signature brand of drama, tears, and unexpected twists.